this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's a lovely world. Today in this video I am going to be joined by Lee Bear, who's charging forward with his time to lime hat, <laughs> and Spacey who is wearing her hello yellow hat, and of course me who is wearing my embarrassed panda hat, and doesn't it look absolutely lovely? <laughs> thank you for the, thank you for the hats Harriet, wherever you are in your hill over there. <laughs> uh, anyway, we have a very exciting video today because we are playing a brand new mini game which I built and I can't wait to show you, uh, but before we do that I of course need to have my brekkie and of course my brekkie is going to be a scrumptious cake <gasps> nom, 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 and one slice left we can we can leave that there I think if we we can leave it in here as kind of like a, a scent odor release thing you know so when I come back later my whole room is gonna smell of cakes and be absolutely lovely and I've never really noticed the uh, the resemblance before between Esther and Squashy. You look <laughs> you look very similar there, to be honest. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go and uh, head to the Love Garden then and uh, see who it is I'm adding to it today. And if you are new here and you don't know what my Love Garden is, uh, at the start of every single one of my videos, I look at someone's name and a sign and say thank you to them for some reason. And that person today is Carwin. And that is because he has been sending me a whole load of absolutely brilliant pictures. And I love his art style. I love how bright and cartoony all of the pictures are. And uh, yeah, because I like them so much, I wanted to say thank you by adding you to my love garden. So Carwin, welcome to Stampy's Love Garden. All right, let's not delay because it's time to play. Uh, I built a new game called Book Bounce. And in the game, you need to bounce books. And oh, that reminded me, saying Books Bounce reminded me that we need to get books. <laughs> you can hardly have a book bounce without uh, books, can you really? I guess you could just have bounce, which is kind of what I'm doing now, just bouncing around. But we don't want to just have uh, Stampy bouncing. We want books bouncing. And there is one place in my world where we have lots and lots of books and it's not the bookshop uh, Because the bookshop doesn't actually have many books in it yet, but my library does I actually forgot about this place uh, This is where uh, I used to store all of my books uh, for these are all my personal books And then all of the the other books are in the the bookshop, uh, but they used to uh, be uh, really easy uh, to make uh, books you didn't uh, need uh, leather before so I actually made absolutely loads of books uh, from just using a uh, sugar cane and so yeah I totally forgot about this place if I had remembered it would have made it uh, a whole lot easier <laughs> building the the bookshop I wouldn't have had to uh, kill so many cows I actually feel a little bit bad now uh, but yeah uh, it does come in handy because we do need uh, lots of uh, books for the book bounce game so I'm gonna head over there in just one second but there's of course one other thing that I need to do uh, that I do at the start of all of my videos and that is deciding which dog is going to be joining me in this video. So let me just go and uh, make my way over Googly's Island. Luckily it's in the day, so it's uh, pretty Googly free right now. Uh, but something that shouldn't be dog free is my dog house. So let me go inside and uh, decide which doggy companion uh, is going to be joining in. And uh, well, I say joining in, who's going to be sitting there and watching <laughs> while we uh, play the game. Let's have, uh, let's have Flippy with me today. Flippy! Flippy girl, right? Are you Flippy? Are you? Oh no, that's Barnaby. Barnaby's silly uh, putting his head against the wall. Hello, Flippy. But you can come and uh, join us in today's video. And uh, because uh, I'm basically running out of room around here, I had to build the, the mini game uh, all the way over there, kind of behind uh, where all of my friends' houses are. So uh, before we go there, I'm going to stop off uh, on the need to read bookshop uh, just to show you what it looks like now. We've not really uh, changed it since what we did in the last episode. Uh, I basically just put a, a bunch more flowers and grass over it. And I think it makes it look way better. I think it kind of makes it look like it blends in uh, with the, uh, the scenery a little bit better than it did before so I'm just gonna go and very quickly show you that and uh, then head over to the game and whoa what's going on here there's an arrow it just nearly hit me um is everything okay? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoever's doing that, cut that out because that was very close to me and Flippy. Oh, there's another one coming! Get down, Flippy! Get down! This arrow's been fired from somewhere. Right, who is it? Who's the culprit? Come on. Oh, it looks like Lee's holding a bow. I think I know who was doing it. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is the um, this is the bookshop. Need to read bookshop. And uh, be very careful of the fire, please, Flippy. Uh, so yeah, this is what it looks like on the inside. Uh, it's not really changed. It's just looking uh, very nice and cosy. And on the outside, it kind of just looks like uh, a nice natural heat hill and of course the fireplace there with the fire blazing on the top. I'm actually uh, really happy. I was a little bit worried when I started building something out of dirt to be honest but I actually uh, think it turned out looking pretty nice. Uh, but anyway on the horizon, you might be able to see the new game. Let me go and uh, hop up here and join uh, Squashy and Lee, and uh, let's go and have a look over what this new game is. Okay, so as I said, it's called Book Bounce, and you're going to see why shortly. 
basically, these are bookworms. You see, there's a red, green, pink, and blue bookworm, and the bookworms are, of course, full of carrots. No, only joking. They're full of books. <laughs> well, they will be soon once I fill them up. And uh, what we need to do is try and make as many bookcases to win. So we're going to be running around inside here, and every now and then, one of the bookworms is going to spew out a book, and then the book is going to bounce along here so we can collect it. Because if I have uh, two stairs like this, and I throw a book in the middle, you can see <laughs> that it actually goes and bounces along. Is it going to bounce back? Oh, it's going to bounce back. Can I catch it again? If I do, that would be amazing. Come on, so close. There we go. I managed to, to bounce a book back and forth. <laughs> so yeah, basically, uh, they're going to be spewing out books, and uh, we need to collect as many as we can. And then after the, uh, the time limit, uh, we need to see who's got the most books and who can make the bo uh, most bookcases. And uh, if we have a tie, uh, then we are going to be going to a tiebreaker round as well. And uh, uh, let me show you how it works and how the, the books come out. Uh, if I come out here, and uh, is there a way I can jump up? I guess I could jump up here and then, oop, fight in the water. Can I get up? There we go. Uh, so basically, we have a cow. <laughs> we have a cow which is going to be uh, running around in here. And uh, every time the cow steps on one of the pressure plates, uh, the dispenser is going to, to fire out uh, one of the the book so that's way uh, that's the way it's going to be kind of random so we just need to to guess which bookworm uh, is going to be firing out the books uh, anyway i think that kind of explains what the the game is going to be uh, so now we can begin so i'm going to go and uh, very quickly uh, set a timer and uh, i think i'll set a timer for five minutes i think will be a good time to collect books okay i have a timer and uh, which means we should all be ready so squashy and lee uh, if you want to go and get inside of the game and shut the uh, the little gate behind you uh, from when i say go we will begin so so uh, I haven't got a very good way of starting the game. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and throw books uh, inside of all of these dispensers. And then I'm going to go and run behind the fences. And then we can begin the first ever game of Book Bounce. And remember, it's not who has the most books. It's who can make the most bookcases. And you need um, uh, you need three books uh, to make each bookcase as well. And I also <laughs> have Flippy running around and joining me. And ooh, oh, I can see the first book. I can see the first book here coming out of the, of the blue worm. It looks like there's no one close to me. Can I get it? Can I get it so close? There we go. I have one book down already. Not a bad start. And I just realized I didn't start the timer. So there we go. I've now started the time. We had five minutes and about 20 seconds. So <laughs> we now have five minutes counting down. So all we need to do now is a uh, run around and make sure we're in the, the right position uh, to be standing there while the books are bouncing down. And I guess we can uh, we can kind of see them side on. And oh, there's lots of people around here. Is there a book coming out? Oh, oh, I heard. I heard a dispenser go. I heard a dispenser go. But I do not know where the book is coming from. Is it down in this? one here? No, it's not in the green one. Was it the pink one? Was it the pink one? I don't know. There's a book going down somewhere, but I do not know where. I want to be in a position to get it. Is it the pink side? Oh no, I think it might have been the... I think it was the blue one. I think it was the blue one. I think Squashy... Yes, yeah, Squashy was able to get some. I think almost two came out then. I heard a uh, dispenser going off twice, so uh, that means Squashy uh, is doing pretty well as well. Uh, I still do not have enough books to make even one bookcase though, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I don't know how Lee Bear is doing at all. Okay, I can't see any around here. What I think I might do uh, is try and stay away from Squashy and Lee, uh, so that way if I do see a book, then I'll be the, the first to get it, uh, but if I can see them both uh, going to the same place, uh, then I can go try and run forward and uh, try and steal the book from them as, if I can. That's the it's the aim of the game. It's uh, it's what we need to do. It is what we need to do. Uh, so what I think it might be a good tactic uh, is just to, to listen out uh, to when we can hear a uh, uh, when we can hear a dispenser go. I can kind of actually watch the cow a little bit as well and see, <laughs> see when it moves. I think we got probably the most stationary cow ever though. They normally uh, go and wander around a little bit more uh, but this cow seems to, to generally be uh, pretty happy standing still. But uh, when they do move, uh, they normally move around quite a lot. Uh, so there's a good chance that the, the cow is going to go and set off uh, a whole load of books uh, at the exact same time. And oh, I saw one go. I saw one book go. Who's going to be the first to get it? I think it's here coming down, bouncing down the green side, I think. And Lee Bear is already waiting here. And I can see he has books in his hands. Right, now comes the, the fight for the books. We need to try and stand as close as we can to get it. And oh no, Lee Bear got it. I didn't get it. Lee Bear was able to, to get the book before me and is the one here coming down on the pink side uh, i'm not sure if there is is there one coming down there you can kind of look inside of the mouths of the bookworm <laughs> and uh, see them sliding down before it gets to the the bouncy area uh, but i don't think any more came out i think that we at least all got one book uh, i think uh squishy might have a uh, two books though uh, but remember 
Uh, to make each bookcase, uh, you need three books. And we have uh, two minutes and 40 seconds uh, left on the clock. Uh, so we're coming up to just about uh, halfway through the, the game here. And I must say, uh, overall, we're probably not doing very well getting the, the books. And uh, if we do go to a, a tiebreaker, uh, then that way we'd just be doing a, a 1v1 uh, with whoever is uh, left in the tiebreaker. And uh, then if we do it so that uh, we've all drawn, uh, we'll have a, another shorter game and just see who can make the most books. And I thought I heard a dispenser go there. I thought I heard a dispenser go, but I can't see. Oh, here it is. Here it is. It's coming down on the red side. Lee Bear looked away. And can I get it? Can I get it? Yes, there we go. I was able to get my second book. So just one more and I will have enough books uh, to be able to, to craft my first bookcase. This is looking better. I was getting a little bit worried that I wasn't going to be able to make any bookcases. I'm not too worried about whether I win or not. Uh, I just want to, to make sure uh, that I'm going to be able to make at least one bookcase. And oh, look, a book's falling down here. Can I grab it? There we go. I was able to get a sneaky little hidden book that was down on the side for some reason. I'll take it. I'll take any books that I can get. So there we go. I now have enough books to, to make myself a bookcase. And oh, I heard another dispenser go. I heard another dispenser go. Oh, and another one. And another one. I think we've got two books coming down at the same time, uh, but I do not know where. They do not uh, seem to be coming down from the green side. Oh, hopefully it wasn't the blue side. Oh, here we go. I can see one bouncing. I'm bouncing after it. Oh, look, there's two. There's two coming down on the pink side. And there we go. I now have five books. Just one more book. And I am going to be able to craft myself uh, a bookcase. So uh, come on, just one more. One more. I got one minute and 19 seconds left. All I need is one more book and then I think I got a good chance of being able to win here. That was so lucky to get two books coming down that fast. It was absolutely amazing. The cow seems to, to once again be standing still. Uh, she seems just to be kind of looking around the area and seeing what we're doing. <laughs> Probably wondering why all of these silly people are running around the outside of her grabbing all of these books. Come on, bookworms. Give us some books. Give us your books. Come on, please. Please. If I just stare it in the face and do a big smile, will I, will I get lucky and will it fire out a book? No, I don't think that tactic's going to work. I've only got about 45 seconds left uh, to try and get one more book. Come on. I've got to do it. Just one more. Oh, look. Squishy's made two bookcases. Squishy's made two bookcases already. I need to get at least one more just to draw with her. This is not good. Oh, I heard one get fired. I heard one get fired. But where from? Uh, I don't think it's the, the red side. Oh, I need to get it. I need to get it to draw with Squishy. Is it down here on the, the green side? The green bookworm? Oh, it is. It is. It's the green one. If I get that book, then I'll be able to make two bookcases. Can I get it? Yes. There we go. I got six books. I got six books. I'm able to make at least two bookcases. And uh, we still have another 15 seconds. Am I going to be able to get another book? To be honest, I don't think I'm going to be able to get three more books, so I think I'm just going to accept my winnings <laughs> and go and my, uh, make myself my two bookcases. So let me go here, and uh, let me go and uh, craft them very quickly, and I can go and place them on my little podium here, and uh, yeah, then I can celebrate the uh, the two bookcases that I was able to make. Here we go. Uh, nope, that's Lee Bear's podium. Here's mine here. One, two, two bookcases. Aren't you proud of me, Flippy? Right, that's time up though, Lee Bear. That is time up. You need to come over here to the, the podiums, and uh, you need to make any bookcases you can and uh, pull them up and oh squishy got three squishy was able to make three bookcases i didn't even realize oh i was so happy that i was able to get two <laughs> but i guess squishy uh, was able to make three and you can see uh, lee bear over at the crafting table is he going to be able to make three or even four is he going to be able to to compete with squishy let's see how he can make he has made one. Oh no so that means squishy was the winner I was in second place, and Lee Bear sadly was in last place with only one bookcase. But it doesn't matter. That was a <laughs> that was a, a pretty fun, silly little game, and I just love uh, watching all of the uh, the books bouncing uh, all over the place. Uh, but what this does mean, though, Squishy, is that you are the employee of the month of Need to Read Bookstore. So what we can do is uh, let me just go and uh, steal one of these signs. Let me take your winning sign, and uh, we can go and uh, erect this uh, up in the uh, in the bookstore. And uh, yeah, then you can go and stand next to it and look very happy and proud. And it also means that you have to work at the bookstore now. So whenever uh, we want to come in and get some books, uh, you can go and, um, uh, yeah, you can go and serve us. Uh, so let me go in here. And uh, let me go and uh, place the uh, the sign up here uh, that is going to say Employee of the Month. Squishy. Employee uh, of the Month. Squishy. That was a good game. That was a really good fun. Uh, of, the, uh, of the month. And uh, then I've got to see if I can uh, spell Squashy correctly. It's uh, surprisingly hard to spell, actually. <laughs> right, let me see if I can get it right. S-Q-A... 
S-I-S-H-E-Y, I think is a how you spell it. Uh, so there we go. I have now put up the sign, and Squashy is the employee of the month. And you know what? We have a little bit of time left. Let's go and very quickly uh, go and play another mini game in the fun land. Let's go and uh, have a game of uh, the, the Tumble Tower game. So, uh, Squashy, if you come and follow me. Uh, Lee Bear, if you uh, head your way over there as well. And, uh, oh, look, there's a slime. <laughs> there's a slime running around here. Uh, I guess, technically, uh, some of this area must be a, a swamp biome, which is a... Uh, why they're, they're all spawning. And it's very handy, though, uh, to get lots of slime balls. And whoa, look at the size of that fire. That is a big flaming slime that is there. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like Flippy's too interested in uh, going after it. And look, they all slide across the uh, across the ice. Anyway, let's go and uh, play the, the game then, shall we? Let's go and uh, have a quick game uh, of Tumble Tower. Uh, just, yeah, just because we have some time. Why not? Why not go and play uh, one of my, my mini games? So the way you play is you need to try and get to the top of this very tall tower. And you do that by flapping up these trap doors, and then you keep jumping and flapping them back down to gradually make your way up. But you can also try and knock down other players by flapping down their trap doors, and the first person to get to the top wins! Sorry about that everyone, Lee accidentally lagged out of the game, but he is back now and we are ready to play Tumble Tower. So let's see who is going to be the first person to get to the very top. We can begin flapping our way up in three, two, one, go, 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 go. So I need to flap a couple and then I can jump on. And no, I missed. I missed at the very beginning. That was an awful start. Right, let me just go and flap down Lee if I can to make sure he can't get up too high. There we go. <laughs> if I can't go up, then Lee can't either. Right now, I want to get up fast because I know Lee is going to be going for revenge and I'm going very slowly. And actually, we need to be careful because Squashy, uh, the whole time me and Leah are going after each other, uh, could have just been going up herself, and I am going so unbelievably slow. <laughs> I never mastered this game. This has never been a game that I've been good at. I actually don't believe I have ever won this game. And to be honest, most games in my fun land, I have won at least once. But this is, uh, uh, yeah, not one of my best games. But I'm starting to, I'm getting into a bit of a rhythm now. I'm starting to, to get my speed up, but I have no idea where Squashy is because she's on the, uh, the complete opposite side of me. Uh, I have no idea where where she is, uh, so I don't know if she is ahead or behind me, but I'm just going to go and uh, try and do my best uh, to catch up with Lee Bear, and I think I'm actually doing a pretty good job. I am actually now just underneath him, and I can flap him down if I can. No, I just about wasn't able to flap him down, uh, but if I do flap him down in a minute, uh, he is going to go all the way down, but we are starting to get very close to the top, and the good thing about this game is that when you get to the top, uh, you're rewarded with a, a really nice view over my fun land as well. That looks really cool, and I'm doing a good job now of getting even closer to Lee. I'm getting into my, my good rhythm again. Right, instead of trying to flap down Lee. I think I'm just going to go and try and be as fast as I can. And there we go. I've overtaken him. I've overtaken Lee. But no, I haven't. He's overtaken me again. We are pretty much neck and neck here. All right, let's see if I can flap him down. Nope, I wasn't able to. So let's just try and get ahead. Uh, so then Lee Bear won't be able to flap me down. I'm getting scared. I'm going to drop. No. And I did. I dropped. I dropped. All right, let's try and flap Lee Bear down again. Oh, no, I wasn't able to. And oh, no, Squashy's probably getting a really good lead now. Lee, you're going to have to go after Squashy rather than just going after me. Oh, I was so close. I was so close. But now look where Lee is. Lee is right by the top. I need to be fast. Can I flap him? Can I flap him down? Oh, I did. I think I flapped him down. No, he was able to make it. Lee Bear's got to the top. <laughs> Lee Bear was able to beat me. But where is Squashy is the big question. Oh, I can't see her. I can't see her. Is she underneath? Well, she's not here. <laughs> that's the uh, that's the big sign. So it looks like Lee Bear was first. I was just behind. And Squashy is um, somewhere. Although I can see her. I can see her little wing poking out down the, down the side there. It's actually uh, much harder than it looks, this game. So <laughs> I don't think that she did very well. But look at this. Look at the, the view over my fun land. It's a shame uh, we can't see all of it from here, but you can see all of these games from here, and uh, we can see uh, all of my uh, my buildings over there. You can see my Hotel of Dreams and uh, all sorts. What an absolutely fantastic view. And then the best part of the game is what we do now. You ready, Lee Bear? After three. One, two, three. Woo! Hi, Squishy! Bye, Squishy! <laughs> and then you land splash in the water. That is so much fun. <laughs> down they all go. And oh, look, there's another little slime wandering around down there. Uh, sadly, though, uh, we have... Oh, there's a big slime there as well. <laughs> we have just about run out of time in this episode. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed uh, seeing us playing Book Bounce and, of course, Tumble Tower as well. Uh, and in my next episode, I'm going to be back here in my fun land building a brand new MIDI game. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!